Hey coach, so excited you found us. A couple things. First of all, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me help you. 30 plus years of coaching. I've done it. I can help you. Um, go over and check it out. 14 day free trial videos. Everything you would want to become a better basketball coach. Less than a dollar a day. Go over and check it out. Also go over and subscribe and like. That would really mean a lot to us. We're trying to get to 100,000. Let me help you put some banners on and some championship rings on your hand. Go over and check it out. Let's head off to the video. Who's got the... Anybody play quarterback here? Anybody got... Oh, God. All right, we'll have you do it. So you go down here. All right, we'll put... Uh, we'll put the, a man right here. All right. We'll put a man right here. And we'll put... A man over there and a man on that block. Uh, yeah, nope, right here and right here. Yep. Now, I'm telling you, I'm not. I, I, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to give credit where credit is due. This is this is the this. My son's name is Drew. Okay, Bryce Drew hit that shot. Well, these are old enough for Valpo. Remember that? And I was in the, saying it was a Sweet 16. I wanted to name my son Bryce. I'd end up with Drew, I guess, Andrew. So I remember this shot. I remember this play. We have a counter to this. That's why I'm showing it. I think the play is really good, um, but I think the counter is even better that we run. Um, but you know, coach, you know, coach has won so many games at Valpo that you know they should put up a statue. So you know what he was able, what he's able to do. So I'm going to give him credit where credit is due. Um, two is our. This is about three seconds. Okay, about three seconds. Our release man is right here. If he has to get it, it goes back to our dribble rule. One or two seconds, you better let go of the ball. One or two seconds, you know, let's say there's three seconds to go, or less than three seconds, we'd run this. Um, if, he has, if he has to get it, you know, we actually practice this, you know, taking shots at half court because it's kind of fun, and we do it once in a while. But if he gets the ball, one, two dribbles, and he's got to let it go. You know, and if it's the most important game of our season, it's on a 94-foot floor rather than an 84-foot floor because it means it's at the state tournament. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, and we, we got to deal with it. So he's our release. All right. <clears throat> One is Bryce Drew, if you remember the shot. He's going he's gonna to hit the shot right down here. So he's going to fake like he wants the ball, and he's going to go deep right in here. Okay. Right in here for a three-pointer. So he's going to have to sprint. Okay? You're my quarterback. Luckily, this year I got the quarterback on my team. His, his grandfather is Barry Alvarez, so I'm hoping if we ever have to run this, I can put Joe right there because I know he can make this, make this throw. All right? You are going to go screen for him. Okay? And you are going to run to a spot, which is right here. Okay? Period. You are going to get the ball. This has to be a big guy. A guy can jump. Because you know that you're going to pass it to him right there. You're going to, you, know, you might have to tip it. You might have, if you have time, you'll catch it. Boom. You're going to run down here. I know you are going to throw it to this spot. I don't care if there's like six guys here. You're going to throw it right here. Because he's going to go get it. Because he knows where it's going. You're going to throw it right here. I'm going to jump up. I'm going to get the ball. And I'm going to... Throw it right there, and we're going to win the game. So that's the initial Valpo play. Coach Drew, I'm giving you credit, man. This is a great play. All right, so let's, let's run this, and I'm going to get out of the way, and then we'll, I'll show you the counter for this. <clears throat> All right, ready? Go. Good. Oh, all right, close. All right, so that was good. That was good. You threw it to the right spot. We're going to have n nothing against your height, but we're going to have somebody a little bit taller. And, you know, somebody that's got, you got a 40-inch vertical, right? Yeah, 40-inch vertical there so he can get it. Okay. Now, that's the initial play. So let's, we'll slow-mo it. I'm not going to put the defense out for this. So let's slow. Let's do it again. So you cut up. You're sprinting. You're setting that screen. You're here. All right. Here's my 6'7 guy. Man, I got it. Yeah. Boom. We win. Everyone, Valpo's Sweet 16, awesome. All right. <clears throat> Once they know you're going to run this, there's a counter. 
All right? Especially if you don't need a three-pointer. Because this drill, this is pretty famous. Everyone kind of knows what's going on. Here's the counter. Okay? We're going to run it again. You're going to fake. You're going to come down. You're going to set the screen. You're going to pop up. You're going to curl back to the paint. And you are going to overthrow him on purpose to the guy under the basket. And he's going to put it in. And we're going to win the game. We've won a game with this. Because everyone knows the other one. Everyone thinks you're going to the top of the key. Well, yeah, he's going to like, throw it to me, I'm open. So you got to sell it a little bit so you can win an Emmy, okay? But you're going to overthrow it on purpose. Let's see, we'll see here. We'll see. You're going to overthrow and he's going to throw it to you who just happens to be standing under the basket. NC State, anybody remember that? And just going to put it in for the win, okay? It's a good... It's a good twist to a really famous good play. You can probably adjust it a little bit. Overthrows are really good. Okay? Um, I'm not showing you my ace in the hole with this one. Um, but it's, this is good. But you can imagine, you can do overthrows. Oh, like this. Oh, I threw it. And there's just, they just, people are just standing there. Especially if you have a little movement. It's a really good play. Um, and it gets people standing. So let's, I'm not going to throw the defense out, but we'll have you guys do this, and then I think we're out of time. I'll have to save the other 25 out-of-bounds plays for some other day. All right, you ready? We're going to do the counter this time. All right, run Velpo. All right, ready, go. Boom, we win. Oh, oh, no. All right, or we missed the layup. And your girlfriend doesn't talk to you for a month. Uh hey, Coach. So glad you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed it a lot, actually. If you did, subscribe and like. And then go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Hey, Coach. So excited you found us. Couple things. First of all, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me help you. 30 plus years of coaching. I've done it. I can help you. Um, go over and check it out. 14 day free trial videos. Everything you would want to become a better basketball coach. Less than a dollar a day. Go over and check it out. Also, go over and subscribe and like. That would really mean a lot to us. We're trying to get to 100,000. Let me help you put some banners on and some championship rings on your hand. Go over and check it out. Let's head off to the video. Let's do a couple side out of bounces. I'm going to be a real out of bounds DVD if I didn't do some sides. Um, <laughs> we call this one victory. I think, you know, you can call it victory, you can call it win. I think you'd always kind of put a positive spin on stuff, um, especially with the kids. You know, they know if we're running victory, it's probably the end of the game and we need, a, we need a good shot. You know, now that it's out there, we probably won't run this one anymore, but um, we'll call it victory and line up this way and for everybody in the big eight we won't be running this so in our conference so um here's the options balls here you're gonna go set a screen for 41 he's gonna pop all the way out here first option okay second option you two are gonna go screen for him you're gonna roll up here second option third option uh, who was over on that elbow? Yep, you're going to roll back here for a two if you need a two. Okay? Now, side out of bounds, end of the game. Who do they always forget about? The guy throwing it in, right? It's the guy throwing it in. So those are three really good options, okay? Um, you're going to clear because if it goes to this guy, we want him to be able to drive. If it goes to that guy, we want him to be able to drive. We always say... Um, if you get the ball and someone's driving it at you at the end of the game, you clear out. Get out of the way. All right, go the opposite end of the court because we want to be able to let them get to the, hopefully get to the rack. So those are the three options. First screen, coming off a double screen, roll back. Last option is one of these guys gets it and they don't have a shot, look for that guy because they'll forget about him because it's four seconds left in the clock and it's the win conference and we're going to stop him but we forgot about the guy throwing it in so if I get it here and I don't have the shot 
that guy coming in is probably going to be wide open. We just have him cut and find an open spot. All right, so do that one more time. All right, go. Single screen, wait. Double screen, curl back, and then you pop in. Yep. So that guy doesn't have time normally to get to the three, so he's going to be more in this way region, especially if we need a three. Ball's here. You cut in. Boom. All right. Um, it, that's an option for it. If, if, if you need a three-pointer, get the ball there. Boom. Right back to the guy throwing it in. One more time. Good. And shot. Boom. Rim. Yes. All right. Give me the defense. All right, let's see if we can stop them here, White. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're on the we're on the 25th mile of the marathon. You don't want to walk that last mile. You got to finish. Got to finish. All right, here we go. Ready? Go. Screen. Wait. 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 Double screen. Good. 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 Roll. Cut. One of those three will be there. One of those three will be there, and it doesn't matter if it's a zone or a man. Um, if it's a if it's a zone. It's like a 2-3 or something. First of all, zone me at the end of the game. I hope you do. Okay, because I'm going to get a good shot. Second, if you do zone me, I'm just going to screen the bottom of that 2-3. Hey, Coach. So glad you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed it a lot, actually. If you did, subscribe and like, and then go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better.